Today, I'm going to teach you three ways to make 3D text using only the tools available with After Effects. Hi, I'm Sarah Wade, freelance motion designer and teaching assistant for School of Motion. 3D text looks really cool in MoGraph, but it can be time consuming to learn and render 3D with the big complex 3D applications. I can show you three ways to make 3D text using only the tools available inside of After Effects. No fancy additional software required. First, we're gonna look at stacking 3D layers in space. Next, we're gonna take a look at how we can use the built-in extrude portions of the text tool. And finally, we're gonna take a look at how to do this in Cinema 4D Lite, which is included with After Effects. Also, you can download the project files I'm using in this video to follow along or to practice this technique after you're done watching. Details are in the description. The first way we're gonna make 3D text is we're just gonna take a plain old text layer Let's go ahead and write 3D. I'm gonna position that. Uh, let's put it just in the middle for now. And I'm gonna just make this a 3D layer. Now it doesn't look any different right away, but if I hit the R, it opens up all these rotations. And then I can see if I rotate it in the Y, it is in fact 3D. Now I don't wanna actually rotate this layer just yet. What I wanna do is make copies of this layer that are at a slightly different position in Z space. So I could duplicate this layer and change the Z position. If I hit the P key, you'll see that my position has one, two, three values, and this last one being the Z position. I don't wanna do this manually because it's simply going to take more time than I wanna spend. If you're not an expressions person, don't worry. This is a very easy one. It's gonna be super simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alt click the stopwatch that's option click on a Mac, and that's gonna open this expression for the position. Now, what I'm gonna put in here is left bracket value zero. And what that's telling it is that I want the position to be whatever the first position value is here. In this case, it's the X position. I'm then going to type comma value one. Now I'm telling it to use the first value and the second value that this layer already has. Here's the, the really useful tricky part. I'm gonna type index times, let's say 10. And that's telling it to use the index of this layer, which is zero because the first layer is zero, the second layer is one, the third layer is two. That's just how the index of the layer works in After Effects. So we are gonna make the Z position, the index of this layer times 10. So in this case, it's going to be zero times 10, which is zero. I'm just going to close it up with a right bracket at the end. It doesn't do much right now, but when I duplicate the layer, each copy will have a different index and a different position. For this example, I'm just going to duplicate it six times so that we can leave some space here at the top of the layer stack. Okay, it doesn't look very different right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new null layer. I'm gonna put this down at the bottom. This doesn't really matter. I'm just being really nitpicky here. Next, I'm going to select all of the layers here and I'm going to pick whip them to the null. This will allow me to rotate all of the layers together instead of one at a time, which can get messy. Now, if I go into this null layer, everything is parented to the null. It's gonna do what I tell the null to do. Make sure all these layers are 3D and they are because the first one was. Let's make sure that this null is also a 3D object so that I have control over X, Y, and Z rotations. Now, if I start to rotate this, you can see it looks 3D. We can get it looking even more 3D if we go in and adjust the colors of these layers. So I'm gonna select not the front one, but the back ones. And I'm gonna go just over here, click the color, and let's just take this down a little bit so it's a little bit darker. Uh, maybe not that dark. Now you can see that those other layers have a different color value to them. So they're behind it and they look 3D. So this is not gonna work with everything. You'll see if I go to the side, I can see through those layers, right? That's not quite working. I can see that it's a bunch of things stacked in 3D space, but as long as you're not looking at it from the side, it looks pretty good, right? And this is gonna render really fast, no plugins. You use that little script that we put on the position. Again, that was value zero, value one, index 
times five or 10 or 15 or whatever you want it to be. And I can even make this deeper by just copying a whole bunch more and it's adding and adding. And actually let's undo that. I copied the front one so we didn't get the cool, cool color that we had changed. Let's start here and then copy a whole bunch more and it's just getting longer and longer and longer. And as long as everything's parented to that null, I can rotate that null and it's gonna look very cool, right? Super fast. That is our first way of making 3D text. Again, we are just stacking layers in 3D space. Super, super easy. The next way we're gonna create 3D text is we're going to actually extrude it. So this time I'm gonna make a new text layer, call it 3D. So let's make sure we select it and then change that level there. That looks pretty good. Okay, I've got my text here and now I don't really have any options to extrude this text, right? I've got text in here, source text, I've got path options, I've got some more options, but none of those options are really letting me make it 3D. So what if I go ahead and make this layer 3D? I click this here and now you see up in the top right corner this renderer appeared. Renderer is basically, you know, it's the same way that After Effects renders your 2D files. This has some different choices for the 3D renderer. So we have our choice between classic 3D and Cinema 4D 3D. I'm going to choose Cinema 4D because once I click on that, it lets me do extruded and beveled text shapes. And that is the key. You will notice you cannot do a lot of this other stuff when you're doing this method. So that is one of the drawbacks, but this is going to give us some very cool text very quickly. So I'm going to select that Cinema 4D. I'm going to hit OK. Now you see up there it says Cinema 4D and now when I look into this text layer, I've got some more options in here. Now I've got these geometry options, one of which is the extrude depth. So this isn't looking like much now, but if I go back up here and I hit the R key to pull up my rotation values, I can adjust the Z axis so that you can really get a sense of the 3D look. So now let's go back to those geometry options. And I can see that my extrusion depth, it's going back into space there. I can also bevel this, which is very fun. Again, I can keyframe all these things, which is super, super cool. And I've even got some material options down here. So you can play around with these. There's actually a lot of different stuff. You can get pretty deep into this. But the basic thing here is just adjusting that extrusion depth until you get a look that you are happy with. So a drawback here is we cannot see the sides of the text in a different color, but fear not, we can fix that. And to change the color of the extrusion, go into the menu by clicking on this little arrow. You can't see it because it's coming off, off, off screen, but basically you select side color. You will see different options such as opacity and brightness. We're just going to use hue, but feel free to play around with those other options. And I can make it any anything I want. I just want it a little bit different, maybe something a little bit pink like. And again, this is the whole side of the 3D. It's an actual extruded side. So when I rotate it, it's not going to go away. We've got that whole side there. So fun little trick, lots of options to play with in here. Again, those steps are make the text layer, make it 3D, select the Cinema 4D renderer, drill down into, if we close everything out here, you can see this geometry options, third thing down, and extrusion depth is going to be the key. Bevel, again, you can bevel those edges. This is pretty small probably on your video to see, but you can play around with that. And to get that side color, uh, go into that little arrow, choose side and color, and you can choose some different options, opacity, brightness, different things. We chose hue, but play around with that as well. So that is how you make 3D text using the extrude option. The third and final way we are going to create 3D text is to use the Cinema 4D Lite plugin that is included with After Effects. If you aren't familiar with Cinema 4D, that's all right. I promise this is quick and easy. So I'm going to go to my layer menu. I'm gonna choose new Maxon Cinema 4D file. 
I'm going to call this file 3D and you can save it to the same location as your After Effects project. After I hit save, you will see the Cinema 4D license window pop up. I'm not going to worry about all of this and go ahead and click OK. And now we just need to wait a few moments for Cinema 4D Lite to open. So that opens up an interface that looks like this. Don't worry if this is completely foreign to you. We are just going to use a couple of quick and easy things, and it's going to make us some awesome 3D text that we can do all kinds of fun stuff with in After Effects, including letter by letter awesomeness. So the first thing I need to do is I need to make the text. I'm going to grab this little pen looking tool. This is basically like the pen tool would be in um, Illustrator or Animate or After Effects, same kind of thing. I'm just going to go over and grab this text. And now it's showing me text. So in here, I'm going to change this to say 3D. And once I click out of that, you'll see that it's 3D. OK, so it just looks like lines, right? Like I can see that it's in 3D space here. I can even um, sort of zoom around it. But what I want to see is the cool edges of that there, right? So how I do that is I'm going to add an extrude. So if I go up here into this menu that looks a little bit like what we want to do, right? It looks like a cube being extruded. I'm going to go here and select extrude. Nothing happened. That's because I didn't actually put the text in the extrude. So I'm going to drag this text under the extrude and now it's extruded. A quick shortcut if you want to do that more quickly, let's just undo that, is I can select the text and I can hold the Alt or Option key and then grab that extrude and it's going to automatically put it there. So now that I've got that text there, it's extruded. I can again rotate around it in 3D space. I can do all of the things. So if I want to change some things about this text, I select this extrude and then I can do all kinds of fun things to change the way it looks. So right here, this offset value, again, I'm down here in the extrude object, object tab. This should be the default when you select it, it pops up. I can make this extrude bigger or I can make it smaller. I can type in the values. I can play around with that. Let's go with about 50. I think that's going to, well, maybe let's even go 40. I think that's going to match up well with what we did with the other techniques. The amount of subdivisions in the object are going to change how detailed the object appears. So I'm going to make sure to save my file. I'm just going to go File, Save Project. It's already got a place to go. Now, when I jump back into After Effects, I can see our text in the composition with the same background as I was working with before. Don't worry about these grid lines. They are only there for you to reference and won't render. If you want to turn them off, you can go up here to the renderer and select current. So I want to add a color here, right? But how can I do that? What you want to do with this is actually add a material in Cinema 4D. So we're going to go back to the Cinema 4D window and just say create a new default material. And in that material, I can select a color. Let's go ahead and let's do a hex color. And I'm going to make it the same purple that we were using in After Effects. While purplish blue, let's say. And then if I want to apply this color, I just drag it onto that text. And now you'll see it's that color. And because it's actual 3D and Cinema 4D, those sides are automatically having that darker background color. And I like that. So I'm going to keep it again. I'm going to just save project here. Control S will work as well. And now when I go back to After Effects, you can see it pops in and it's got that color to it. So now that I have this 3D layer, I can do stuff to it in After Effects that I would normally do. So I can add um, some glow to it or some of those other fun effects that you might like to use. I can change the opacity of it. Uh, I can do all those fun things and it's an actual 3D layer. It's an actual 3D file. And again, if you want to change the color of it, you go up to the pen tool and select text. And once you have the text, there's a new text, you can either drag it under an extrude or select the text, hold the Alt or Option key, go up to this extruded cube looking thing, add an extrude. And that is how you create 3D text in After Effects using Cinema 4D Lite. That's it. Easy, right? Now you can make fancy 3D text three different ways. Next time your client says, hey, I want some 3D text, you can say, great, no problem. 
Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified for our next tutorial video. And if you want to really get started in After Effects with the help of industry pros, check out After Effects Kickstart or Animation Bootcamp from School of Motion.